to enable.org presents mathematical literacy data handling organizing data exercise f right let's quickly go to the exercise that um, i asked you to do for today exercise s or the frequency tables it is really very important um, to to first do the exercise because before you look at the memo bec because um, because uh, otherwise there is really no value in looking at this um, video then you can just as well look at a nice music video so please first do the exercise um, and then you you look at the video right so now this is the exercise that I'm going to look at it says complete the frequency table in each case you have to use ranges for numbers 4 to 5 tip use a different color highlighter for each word or number right so number one you have to complete the table it's between pop and sam staple foods of for South African pop sam rice pop pop rice and there's some bread as well and you have to tally and do the frequency right so now here is the answer <clears throat> sorry let's quickly look at the next one because two answers on the same place a uh, uh, same page and the number of school going children per household so we have the number of children not one two three four five and you don't have to go any higher because there were then are no higher numbers tally it and write in the frequency right so let's Okay, so this is the bread and sample one, number one. So bread will have one of five, ten, fifteen, sixteen occurrences. Pop has five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Rice has one of five, ten, eleven, twelve, and Sam has five, ten. And there were sixty-three pieces of data. This is the answer for number two. The number of children per household is, f uh, well, that's incorrect. Let's quickly stop this, correct that. Right, there it's correct now. There were four children, four households with no school going children. Um, <laughs> correct that one. <laughs> There were 12 households, 5, 10, 11, 12. There were 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 households with two children. 5, 10 households with three children. Five households had four children and two households had five children. So altogether there were 51 pieces of information. Right, now let's go to question three. Question three, the number of hours that children spend watching TV per day. So it's two hours, um, two, sorry, two hours, one hour, two hour, three hour, naught hours, two hours, three hours, naught hours, one hour, four, two, naught, two. So here you're going to put in number of hours watching TV. So it's naught, one, two, three, four tally it and write up the frequencies question four is the monthly income per family in a certain area so here you have to use class intervals so it's 0 to 999 so that one falls into that group and this one falls into that group between a thousand and one thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine um, that one falls into that group this number 1200 falls into the second group 1500 falls into the second group and 1500 in the second group then between 2000 and 2999 2500 falls into the second group 2,600 falls there, 
2560, 2600, 2000 falls into the second group, another 2000, 2500, another 2000, another 2500, another 2000, another 2000, 2500, 2300, 2750, 2800. So these are all in the second group. In the third group, it's 3,500. So what you can do is when you are busy uh, tallying, then you can just highlight. So this is the yellow group. Right, so that is the first two. Let's make this the green group. So in that one falls 1,200, 1,450. 1,500 and 2,500. With the next one, let's make it blue. So it was, these were all in that one. That one and 2,000 to 600 to 750 to 800 to 600, 2000, oh here I missed an 800, that's also yellow, to 560, that is funny turquoise color, to 300, and to 500. Right, so now values between 3000 and 399. Uh, let's use pink. Okay, so it's these two values, that value, this one, and that one, these three, this one, that one, and here are three more values, one, two, three. Okay, different color between 4000 and 4000. 99, let's make it red, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,600, 4,500, 4,000. Right, and then the last value between 5,000 and 5,999, we can make it green, dark green. And there's dark green. And now you can see, now it's easy to tally because there are three yellows. There's of the greens, one, two, three, four green, uh, light greens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen turquoise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen pinkish colors. One, two, three, four, five, six reds and one dark green. Right, so really not all that difficult. Let's quickly look at the answer. Okay, yes, for question three, number of hours. Nought hour is five, one hour is 13, two hours is 15, three hours is 10, and four hours is 10 again. Now this is question four that we just did. Um, there were three of 999, four between 1,000 and 1,999, between 2,000 and 2,999 is 15, between 3,000 and 3,999 there were 13 values, between 4,000 and 4,999 is six, and between 5,000 and 5,999 there were only one. Right. So that was question number four. Um, let's go to question number five. <coughs> number of cars in a parking lot per day in a month's time. Right, again we can, can color code it. So let's go 0 to 9, none really, between 10 and 19. 
add 17 and 18 I don't see any others. Okay, now the next one, let's make it between 20 and, sorry, and 29. Right, so let's make this green. So it's 23, 23, 29, 28, 29, 25, those three, and this one. Right, the next one. Let's make that between 30 and 39. And what color are we going to choose? Turquoise. Right, 31, 32, 35. 37 is in that group, 31, these three are in that group, 32 is in that group, and these two, they are both in that group. Right between 40 and 49, different color, let's choose pink. Um, or purple, 40, these three numbers are there, right, and now it's just a little bit extra, so that's between 50 and 59, what color is that, let's make it red, 52 is there, 51 is there, sorry, not 80, between 60 and 69 and now they're actually not a lot so we don't have to color these just two then between 70 and 79 there's none and between 80 and 89 Right, now what is important is that when you choose intervals that they usually represent the same amount of numbers. So there's between 0 and 9 there are 10 numbers and between 10 and 19 there are 10 numbers. So what is important with this exercise is to know how big the class intervals should be. Right, so that's question 5 and then 6 is the, is the last one. So we'll get to 6 just now. Let's quickly look at the next answer. This is the... Uh, the one for the cars. Right, between 0 to 9 there were no cars, 10 and 19, 2, 20 and 29, 8, 30 and 39, 10, 40 and 49, 4, 50 and 59, 2, 60 and 67, 2, 70 and 79, none, and 9, 80 and 89, 2. Right, and then remember you have to add up your frequencies. And then lastly, we go to question 6. It says, some parents feel that their children spend too much time sending SMSs, Mixit, Facebook and Twitter. One parent counts the number of times a daughter tweets per day during a period of 30 days. Right? So, 4, 18, this is the data. The questions are, what kind of data is this? Should I sort the data in single amounts or in groups? Give a reason for your answer. Use the data above to draw up a frequency table. Do you think the parent has a reason to be concerned and motivate your answer? Right, so what kind of data is this? Right, it is numerical discrete data. You are going to group it because the numbers are small and very large. So there's a wide variety of numbers. It would be easier to interpret it if they are in groups than, than in single amounts. I forgot what question D's answer. Question was D. Uh, uh, C was draw up a frequency table. And do you think the parent has a reason to be concerned? Um, this is C. Sorry, this is C 
and D. Okay, let's try it again. C, there, there it is. Uh, between 0 to 9, there were 8. Between 10 and 19, 12. 20 and 29, 6. 30 and 39, 2. And between 40 and 49. Um, Okay, so now the answer. Do you think the mother should be concerned? No, she only tweets on average 10 to 19 times a day, which is not considered a lot. Well, I must say, I actually consider it a lot. It's better to speak to a mother or to visit a friend and tell her 19 stories during a day. Um, well, if you look on average, how many, how much time children spend on Twitter and Facebook and SMSs. Because now, the reason why I think this is a lot is because this is only one uh, type of social media. And there are very many. So, yeah, I think there's quite a variety of different answers. As long as you have a good motivation, any answer is really acceptable. Thank you very much. Uh, please remember to do the next exercise in the included handout. Thank you.